You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. Psalm 45, 7. Welcome back to my channel, New Growth Naturals. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Samantha. I'm a natural hair specialist. I specialize in natural hair care and natural hairstyles and so much more. So on this channel, I post videos on how to care for your natural hair, natural hairstyles, and just everything related to your natural hair health, okay? <laughs> so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I prep my hair for swimming. And I'll be using black Jamaican castor oil, extra virgin olive oil, and I just, let me show you. Yes. By the way, this yeah. video is brought to you today by Black Jamaican Castor Oil and no, I'm not being paid for this. I just genuinely love my Black Jamaican Castor Oil, especially this brand. It's called Jamaica Black Castor Oil and this was sent to me by the owners of Jamaica Black Castor Oil because I've, as you can see, if you have always been watching my videos, all my mixture, all my DIYs, I've been using Black Jamaica Castor Oil for the specific reason that I find this brand to be so potent. And if you're wondering where this is made, it is made in Jamaica by Jamaicans. By the way, I am a Jamaican. You may be able to tell by my accent, but I am Jamaican. I'm living in the Cayman Islands now, but I always try to get my castor oil from Jamaica because they make the real black Jamaican castor oil. <laughs> So let me tell you a little bit about this castor oil before I show you how to prep your hair before swimming. So this black Jamaican castor oil, like I said, was made in Jamaica by Jamaican and the process in which it was made is not the typical traditional way. In Jamaica normally they roast the castor beans and then they would boil the castor beans after they martyred it. Like they beat it to powder and then they would boil it and then they collect the oil on top. Now this black Jamaican castor oil, they just basically roasted the beans and then they used an extractor to extract the oil. So it's somewhat cold pressed. So uh, the heat wasn't, the heat process was totally omitted and that's what made this one so potent, so great. I do use a traditional black Jamaican castor oil, mostly when I'm doing heat treatment because the things that, the, the ingredients that are in it, it's perfect for that. But when I want something that I'll leave on my scalp and on my hair, I definitely go to my organic Jamaican castor oil. And I just love this brand, like I said. If you want to know how you can get this black Jamaican castor oil, you can hit up Jamaica Oils on Facebook or Instagram. And I'll leave in the description a link that you can click on to make your purchase or to contact the owner of black Jamaican castor oil. And just in case you don't have black Jamaica castor oil like I do, you can use any other castor oil that you trust, as long as it doesn't have salt in it, because unfortunately some people mix their castor oil with other stuff. I like to have my castor oil just raw, just the pure castor oil, and that's what it is in this bottle. 100% castor oil. So without further ado, let me show you what I do. No, I'm not gonna show you what I do, I'm just gonna tell you what I did. So basically I use half part castor oil with half part extra virgin olive oil simply because castor oil is really thick and it's going to form a barrier from my strand you know that the water whether you're going to be swimming in a pool or in the ocean so if you go into the beach you know that water is really salted water in the pool they had chlorine to the water and that is very damaging and very harsh for our hair especially the salt well both of them really harsh for the hair somebody shouting again <laughs> Anyway, I try not to be distracted. So the castor oil and the olive oil help to form that thick barrier over your strand. I still would need to wash my hair after I finish swimming. At least I'd protect my hair to a great extent from all of these nutrients and minerals that is in the water that I don't want onto my hair because I realize that my hair get really dry after I swim in the beach or in the pool and it caused my hair to break a lot. And you may have the same experience. So I'm just taking time out to do this really short video on how to do that. So this is what I did.
So I'm using the, my mixture of black Jamaican castor oil with extra virgin olive oil to just saturate my hair. So I'm just starting at the tips because they're the oldest part, they tend to get damaged easier. So I'm focusing exactly at the extreme ends of my hair first. And once I've done that, I'll just coat the rest of my hair in castor oil. And this is just gonna be so awesome. And you'll tell the difference when you try this. You actually see the difference when you wash out your hair or when you're ready to take it down. You realize that your hair is not as dry, it's not as damaging, it's not as flaky as how it would have been without prepping your hair before going into that salt water or chlorine filled water. So once you're done saturating your hair, if your hair is not in braids, that's completely fine. You can still do this, but try to do your hair in a very easy protective style. So even though you're prepping your hair just to get it out the way and so that you the water won't penetrate so much So what I'm just gonna do now that I'm done Saturating my hair with the olive oil and castor oil. I'm just gonna braid my hair in two. Yes, I'm braiding my braids in two <laughs> And then I'll be going for a swim What I'm gonna do is just go home and take a cold wash or shampoo my hair once and then use conditioner to wash my hair out. But I prefer to use a cold wash. So this week I think I'll just go home, use a cold wash and wash all the salt water off my hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and continue with my moisture routine to rehydrate my hair. Until next time, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you like this video and share. Remember, Jesus love you. Bye-bye.